Good morning, I'm Steve with Harrell's. Today we're gonna to be calibrating a sprayer. Um, we're down here, Boynton Beach. We're at Quail Ridge Country Club and we're gonna be working with Paul. Paul's the lead spray tech here. We're gonna be looking at his, his rig here he has on a John Deere. Paul, this is a 100 gallon. Yes, sir. Before we get started today, I'd like to talk a little bit about the label. We're going to be looking at um, a couple different aspects, but we need to make sure the label's the law and we have to follow what the label says. Now, starting that off, we need to know about our PP and E equipment, our personal protective equipment. We have gloves, long sleeve shirts, pants, spray boots, and anything else that the label says, respirator or anything of that nature. Uh, we're also going to be using the label to, to come up with the rate that we're going to be applying at. Um, if we're working with something like Telstar, we'll be at one ounce per thousand square feet. So we'll be using those numbers and we'll go over how to calculate that and formulate how much you should be mixing in your tank to spray at that rate. When you do your spray calibrations, you should do them once on concrete to see that you're having uniform application. Other than that, you should do it where you spray. If you spray on St. Augustine, you should do it on St. Augustine. If you spray on Zoysia, you should do it on Zoysia. Um, if you're in a residential neighborhood, then you need to do it on a residential lawn where you're gonna be dealing with trees and other obstacles that are gonna interfere with that time that you're gonna be calculating for calibration. We're gonna look at a couple of little things when we're figuring this out. One is going to be our pressure. Our pressure is going to influence our rate. Also, the height is going to influence our rate. Our speed is also going to influence that. So we're going to mark off 1,000 square feet right now. We're going to use these orange cones. And we're not going to, as I mentioned, we're not going to have any obstacles, but we're going to get a good idea of how long it takes for us to spray 1,000 square feet. So now Paul is gonna take his sprayer with a JD9 3 8 inch hose and his pump, and he's gonna spray this thousand square feet. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna time him on how long it takes him to spray that on a uniform application. All right, thank you, Paul. I appreciate you spraying that out for me. Paul got uniform coverage. Tristan, what was the time on that? Three minutes and 36 seconds. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna spray a thousand square feet, same situation, same scenario. But what I want to show is that each technician's pace is a little bit different. So that's why calibration is important, not for the sprayer, but per the technician. All right, so Paul and I both sprayed a thousand square feet. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write down that time. Paul's time was 336. My time, one minute, 20 seconds. So now what we're going to do is we're going to fill this bucket right here. We've marked off two gallons in this bucket to this line. We're going to use the pump and spray two gallons of water in here and time how long it takes to get to that two gallon mark. So our sprayer is putting out two gallons at 47 seconds. So if we want to break that down to figure out how many seconds it's taking for one gallon, that would be 23, 23.5. So 23 seconds, we're getting a gallon. So now if we come over and we convert three minutes and 36 seconds, which was Paul's time to spray a thousand square feet, we have a total of 216 seconds. Now if we divide that by our 23, Paul is spraying 9.4 gallons per thousand square feet. Now the same with me, if we take the minute and 20 that it took me to spray a thousand square feet, and our sprayer is putting out two gallons in 47 seconds, then I am spraying three and a half gallons of product per thousand square feet. Now that we know these numbers, now we can look at the label, we can identify on the label what our pest is. What is our target pest? Is it chinch bug? Is it a, a herbicide we're spraying for a weed? Whatever it may be. Let's just take chinch bug with Telstar. One ounce per thousand square feet. Paul's tank is 100 gallons. So now we're going to assume that he's spraying Telstar for chinch bug in St. Augustine, and we're going to say that his 100-gallon tank, and he's spraying 9.4 gallons per thousand. We're going to divide that 9.4 into the 100 gallons, and we'll get 10.6. So if we're at the one ounce of Telstar per thousand square feet, we would be putting 10.6 ounces of Telstar in the 100-gallon tank. So all the data we gathered, we know that at Paul's 
speed on his per thousand square feet, and with his tank putting out two gallons and 47 seconds, we know that his tank will cover 10,600 square feet. So when he mixes, we go back to that Telstar number, when he mixes Telstar, he's gonna be putting in, if it's one ounce per thousand, 10.6 ounces in his tank of 100 gallons of water. Paul, I thank you for uh, allowing us to work with your equipment. Thank you for taking the time out of your day. You're we welcome. really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.